The team that took you to the tiny town of Hatchetfield invites you on a journey to the lands that are, for the latest Star Kid musical adventure, Cinderella's Castle. Let's go. We knew we wanted to do fairy tales. We knew we wanted it to be darker than you'd expect, funnier than you'd expect, filled with music and puppetry. So for the past five years, we've been quietly experimenting with the kind of stagecraft needed to bring this fantasy world to life. Let's go! There's a castle on a hill as the story goes And it watches over us from across the moat This version of Cinderella feels like a brand new, fresh, exciting take on, on the tale that you know. We wanted to stay true to the bones of the original story while adding more mystery, more magic, more monsters. I'd say the biggest difference is it's more of a revenge story. It's a Star Kid show, so it's got a bit of an edge to it without saying much. I'd say there's like more murder and more blood. It's kind of going back to the Grimm stories, right? Where everything's a little bit darker, a little bit more sinister, but still fun. We punish poor Ella pretty severely. She's a prisoner in her own home, a social pariah covered in filth. Poor girl is going through a lot, going through a lot. Everyone in town thinks that she's crazy because of what she's desperately trying to tell them about her stepmother. What's different is the stepmother and her two daughters are trolls. Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters are always described as wicked or ugly. So we decided to take that and run with it and make them the most wicked and the ugliest. For the trolls, we wanted to create three over-the-top comedic villains for our heroine to do battle with. These are some of our puppet creatures, along with Ella's companions, a frog knight named Sir Hopalot and his loyal mouse squire, Crumb. I think what makes this version stand out is the incorporation of so many other fantasy elements into the story of Cinderella. You have trolls, you have, you have talking animals. There's a cute little mouse. There's, there's mice in the other Cinderella's too, but this one also has a mouse. Jeff's songs kind of create this different type of space that I wasn't expecting. We got a dark pop vibe to this show. There's some like techno pop rock-ish, am I right? Jeff described it as as, what was it, magical 80s pop? It's a vibe. With your help, Cinderella's Castle will premiere live at the El Portal Theater in Los Angeles, California in July of 2024. Then hit YouTube a short time later. Your contribution will not only pay for the show, but you'll also unlock a trove of trinkets that shimmer and shine. I think what is interesting about a Star Kid show is that Star Kid always has this quality which feels tactile. It's homemade in the best kind of way. You can see the craft on display, and I think with the, pup the puppets of it all, I just think people are gonna be really surprised and delighted by this take on a story uh, through this particular lens. Star Kid has a great way of making um, stories that we all know and love adult, dark, fun, hilarious. And I, I think when people learn about it, all the things that are gonna happen in this, you're going to just want to know more about this universe that, that, uh, that you've built and that we hope to all build. The music, the monsters, the magic. Cinderella's Castle. There's a castle on a hill as the story goes.